Welcome back to Good Morning Football. We are so excited about our next guest. He's here at the breakfast table on the verge of being the first player drafted from his college since 1976. He was the only Division II player invited to the 2022 Senior Bowl and one of four HBCU players who participated in this year's NFL Combine. Please welcome to the Good Morning Football table from Fayetteville State University, Joshua Williams. Oh, yeah! Superstar. What's up? Man, what's up? I'm glad to be here. Happy to be in New York. We love having you in New York and here at the breakfast table. And we also love your story and your journey. So let's talk about that a little bit. It's pretty remarkable. You're from a military town, Fayetteville, North Carolina. You lived alone as a high school senior. You were a zero-star recruit. Mm -hmm. What was that journey like from the end of high school to committing to Fayetteville State and being where you are right now? Right. Well, there's definitely been a lot of highs and lows, but just throughout that time, just, you know, maintaining a sense of um, just hard work and knowing that eventually it'll all pay it off. That's kind of what got me through those times. And, you know, of course, my family, coaches, there was a lot of things that helped me, you know, get through all of my hurdles. You're the best dress guest we've had. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Fantastic, okay. like a million bucks. And you arrived in Fayetteville State in 2018. And right. a lot of great players have come from HBCUs. We know Jerry Rice and Walter Payton and Michael Strahan. Um, Recently, even Darius Leonard. T tell us about how you've embraced being a representative of the HBCUs and what you want to do and carry that legacy moving forward. Right. Going into favor State, you know, um, I didn't know everything about the HBCUs and the rich history behind it. But as I was, you know, playing my, my career there, the coaches, teachers, all of, you know, the Fayetteville State uh, University staff, they just, you know, kind of teach you the history behind it, not just with football, but, um, you know, the academics behind it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one of the best nursing programs in the nation. There's a lot of things that, you know, we have that just a lot of people, the general public, don't know about, so. Josh, you became a two-year starter and an All-American in college, and I'm just curious, uh, after you, the season ends, at what point are you are you hearing, hey, the NFL is interested in me? I, I, I want to hear about the Senior Bowl. How did you find out about that you were getting invited to that? I see you smile right away. Yeah, so he I'm lit up on that. So, <laughs> so yeah, tell me what that was like, because that doesn't happen often to, to guys in, in your position in, in, in small schools. They right. don't get that invite, but what was that like and how was it delivered to you? So around the 2019 season is kind of where I started to get, you know, the sense of uh, scouts coming in, calling about me, and, you know, that was a blessing in itself. But uh, right before the 2021 season, because we didn't have a 2020 season due to COVID, um, you know, I made the Senior Bowl watch list. And uh, that's something I didn't even know. You know, I came out of a summer, summer ball and summer camp practice, and, you know, I see Twitter, you know, lighting up. And, Jim Nagy posted me, so I kind of, you know, started to, I was like, okay, you know, I might be able to do this. I go into the season, have a great season, and making it to the Senior Bowl was probably my biggest goal after, you know, the season was over. Um, unfortunately, I did end up getting the invite via um, walk-ons. We kind of had our, our conclusion of the season there after the season was over. We went there for dinner. They kind of made it a surprise, you know, it was this whole big thing, and Jim Nagy came out. Uh, in front of all my coaches, my uh, teammates, and my father was even there. So it was a great experience. It was a blessing, and I'm just, you know, happy that it played out the way it did. We are, too, and you made the most of it. You know, we're around a lot of your peers, a lot of prospects. There's something unique about you, your, your presence, the way you show up, the way you speak, your path, of course. And there was a piece written about you that I thought had a fascinating line. It said, the best way to describe Joshua Williams is that he has the confidence of Deion Sanders with the demeanor of Barry Sanders. Mm. Right. How do you feel about both of those? What, is that accurate? Look, if, if those are the two players I'm being <laughs> compared to, you know, that's, that's very good. Um, I do think it's accurate. I, I definitely have a confidence about me, but... Um, I definitely try to remain humble, and um, it's very, you know, it's kind of who I am. Um, I, I don't ever feel like I'm better than the next man um, as far as, you know, just human being-wise. But I do know at the same time I'm a good player. I work hard, and I worked hard to become a good player. So that's where that confidence comes from, and that's how I try to play on the field. It takes hard work to get there. Now, mm -hmm. you're from Fayetteville. I know you're a big J. Cole fan. Yes, also man. from Fayetteville, top musician, of course, peak success. How has he been an influence to you? And maybe what's your favorite album or what music do you listen to pregame? Talk about that relationship. Well, J. Cole, just in Fayetteville in general, you ask anybody from Fayetteville, of course, you know, that's their favorite artist. Yeah. I mean, he does a lot of things for the city. Um, he comes back. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got to meet him yet. My father has. You know, he ran into him. I haven't. And, um, you know, my favorite favorite song, at least, because he does have a lot of good tracks. Um, mm -hmm. My favorite would probably be The Workout. 
Um, that's just kind of a classic J. Cole right there. You know, a nice little vibe to listen to even before a game. So The workout, that one goes? That's that one, that goes. High energy, <laughs> up tempo? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's your style right I got this. <laughs> right. Right. My style is, is J. Crew. I, I don't do J. Cole. <laughs> but thank you. I like that you're into it, though. Right. That's it. Uh, look, this is cool that you're at the table here. The Senior Bowl, I'm curious. You get there and you see that Ohio State helmet. Right. You see that Notre Dame helmet. Yeah. Um, in the NFL, you're going to see a Cowboys. Logo. Right. You're going to... Are you ready for that? Like, not that we're. It was, are you ready for that stage? Can I, you can you see yourself on that stage? I, I absolutely can. It's something I've been dreaming about my whole life, and um, even with the Senior Bowl, like you mentioned, coming from Favorite State, you know, I'm not playing at Ohio State or Clemson or Alabama. So being on the field, you know, that's come kind of some of the questions I was getting from scouts and you know just the media. Um, how do you think you're gonna fare playing against you know some, and. You know, I don't think it was something that was really dawning on me. It wasn't, you know, that's not something I was focused on. I was focused on playing my best football. You know, I don't care what logo's on anybody's helmet. I'm going to go out there and play my brand of football, Joshua Williams football. So. Mm. Now, I love it. Woo! Joshua Williams football. I love players it. Players I think it's about to work out for you. Uh, Deion, he has the confidence of Deion Sanders <laughs> the with the demeanor of Barry Sanders, which I don't think you do. You are electric next to Barry Sanders. You got a future. <laughs> By the way, we're right up down the street from, from Wall Street. Right. You yeah. could walk down there and fit oh, right in like oh, that. Hey, we got a couple man. of guys we can introduce oh, yeah. you to. Hey, please do. <laughs> All right? Hey, yeah. My man. Peter, he doesn't care guy. which logo's on the helmet. He'll be out there listening to J. Cole ready right. for the game. Don't forget us when you're big time, okay? Absolutely not. No. Joshua Williams, nice